What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? This is the student master teacher, Mr. I Stay Woke, Chris Monroe, and I'm right back at you with another real estate video. Today, we're going to be like taking a look at what do you do when you have nothing else to do? You don't want to buy a list, but you want to talk to some sellers. You want to get on the phone with some people who could potentially want to sell their house. So what we're going to do today is find a pre-foreclosure to call them to try to buy their house, hopefully before the house goes to the sale. So to do that, you can do that by pulling a list from your local county, or you can go right on our favorite website, starts with a Z, ends with a W, Zillow. You go to Zillow.com and say, if you were to go in here and uh, look up an actual part, so say you wanted to look at St. Louis, Missouri, 63125, and it's just going to give a an overview of all of the, uh, well, it gives a lot of houses actually, but we're not gonna actually look at all of these houses because it's gonna give you so much stuff here, but it'll all be within that zip code of 63125. So right up here is where you wanna change your listing type to get rid of so many houses because you see it's like, I don't know, 500 houses or something there. It's a lot. So you wanna unclick for sale. You want to unclick potential listings and just click it and unclick this, uh, all of these actually. And the only thing you wanna look at here is pre foreclosure, even though it's only 16, but it'll give us a, uh, a group of houses that we can potentially try to contact. Um, and the way I do it is I try to sort it the newest to see the newest. So as we see here, the newest, this has only been on here about 12 days. This house of 245 West Loretta. We're gonna go ahead and click into it. And voila, investor opportunity. This house is being offered at public auction on May the 9th. Today is April 21st. So that gives us about three, maybe four weeks. Well, I don't know, maybe three weeks, closer to three weeks to try to contact this homeowner and uh, see if they're interested in selling. So as you know, lots of people are looking at this on Zillow. They're saving it. They're looking at this site here. Uh, if I can find it, auction.com. They're looking at this website to go bid on it. But why am I going to bid on a house when I can try to buy it and prevent it from going to foreclosure and save the day with my cape on? So that's exactly what we're going to do on 245 West Loretta. Uh-oh. So what we do here is copy that address. We go over to Google, or we don't even have to go to Google. We can go to our favorite website, which is what? Better than Zillow, truepeoplesearch.com. But before we do that, we need to find out who the actual owner is. So actually we do need to stay at Google. Let me go back. I'm ahead of myself here. So we're gonna to go to St. Louis real estate taxes or your county real estate taxes, depending on what your county or city you're in. Cause you're gonna find out, and this house is in St. Louis County, which is right here. As you can tell, I go to these sites all the time. We're gonna go right here to the property address, plug it in. So over here, you just need that, and then you need uh, Loretta, I think was the street. And that was West Loretta. So here's the owners, ha Richard and Deborah Hastings. So we can do a little research and background on them while we're here. You can see their deed. They've been there since at least 2015. Wow, they haven't been there long at all. So nevertheless, we can check their taxes and all the other stuff that you can do at any county website. No taxes are due, it was paid 1,600 bucks. So that's not what we're here for, but the, the main reason we're here for to see who are the owners, Richard and Deborah, the husband and wife, Hastings. So now we go over to your favorite website, which was what? Let's go to Google again. Oh, we don't even need Google, I lied. We need truepeoplesearch.com, truepeoplesearch.com, a free lookup. We're gonna do a reverse address search. So we're gonna paste that address right into there. Come right over here. Their zip code is 63125, so 63125. We don't need to type all that other stuff out. And voila, Richard Haskins Jr. and Miss Deborah. Is that the same lady? Who knows, but you got two options here are two choices here that you can find. We'll go with Richard Hastings because remember that's what it said right here. Richard Hastings is the one who owns that house. So we just come over here and you pound the phone and you call each one of those numbers until you get a response. You can even try an email if you need to, but I would try that phone more so. And this true people search shows previous addresses, possible relatives, possible associates, all that good stuff. But we want to get them on that phone. And if that doesn't work, Deborah, was that Deborah? Let's see, is she the same person? Yeah, she's at that address, so she's the wife on here. 
even though they have her as Deborah Hastings, it has her maiden maiden name on here, I guess. Deborah Marie Eichenroth. Don't try to say that name fast. Show all her phone numbers and blast all those. See if you can get in contact with one of these homeowners and see if they're interested in selling their house, which is right here. It looks like a beautiful brick house in sunny South St. Louis County. Only been on Zillow three days. You get on the phone with them, see if they want to sell the house, run your script, see if you can save the day, you know? And that's a whole other video on how to talk to sellers. And uh, if you like this video, make sure you give it a good thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and turn on that bell for the post notifications that you know when new goodies come out. And don't forget to join that new Facebook real estate group, Woke Real Estate Investors, talking about creative real estate and all types of fun like that. And uh, hope this video helps you out. Do what you do. Be who you be. And I'll see you before you see me.